Previously on Persona 5 Royal, the Phantom Thieves devised a plan to get the treasure from Madarame. The group had a tough battle against Arahabaki to get the final will seed. We rejoin our group, exiting the palace and preparing to end the calling card. We did what we came to the palace to do, so I guess that's a win for us. Okay. You did great today. You tired? Oh, a little bit. All we have to do now is send the calling card to Madarame. Alright, it's finally time. Now all we gotta do is decide when we're gonna do it. Shouldn't we talk to Yusuke about that first? Yeah, why is he in the group chat? Like what? Uh, why? Because he, he's part of our group now, Ryuji Jesus. I mean, Madarame was his teacher, and that too. It's not our place to be deciding something like this. Oh yeah. Let's talk to Yusuke. Yeah, this problem's bigger than just the three of us. Anyway, how about we all meet up at the hideout? Yep, sounds good to me. Okay, let me know when you want to meet, and I'll tell Yusuke. Why don't you just add him to the group, shall we? Also, uh, make sure you have a decent amount of money. My, my The amount of money I have, like... It's, uh... It's good enough. Let's just... Let's say that. But yeah, that might not seem like a lot, but it kind of is. Just saying, like... But yeah, let's uh, see what's on the news today, I guess. May is already half over, and now it's the season of for the leaves to start to bud. People are out and about in the city, enjoying the early summer breeze. In the city, people can s still escape and enjoy nature by visiting Inokashira Park. Hey, hey. That park looks really nice. It might be a good idea to take some, take a break and relax there. If only that added a place for us to go. That'd be cool to do. You should get bonuses for like at least watching the TV like every now and then. Like it, it, it is bonus content. I mean, technically, if you want to get one, yeah, I don't know. Let's feed our, our plant. Wait. I feel like I have one extra bionutrient. That'll be fine. Maybe I do have one extra. I think you should be out by now, but yeah, we get kindness. Yes. That should do it for a while. Cool. Now let's just head over here. Oh yeah, you ran something, right? And yeah, we're just doing stuff in LeBlanc because uh, you can't travel outside of LeBlanc because we went into the metaverse today. Let's uh, finish watching this, I guess. have infected them, got into their brains. We need to find those samples, Skullsy, fast. It's a story about investigators who searches for the truth behind eerie supernatural incidents. Are aliens technically supernatural? Like, I don't know. I believe in aliens. That's all I'm saying. Uh. Why would you preserve alien larvae? Curiosity killing the cat, you know. Good one, Morgana. Oh. So we finished watching the X folders, huh? Morgana, you gotta stop sitting like this. We talked about this last time. Jesus. I bet your guns, huh? Morgana, sit, but for real, please. Stop. stop sitting like that, dude. It's weird. Okay. Let's go return the DVD soon. Well, then. It's starting to get late. Let's head to bed, okay? Sounds good. Damn it, I want to go home. I don't want, want to go to school. This sucks. I'm so tired every day. I can relate. I don't want to go to work. Are there any breaks coming up? Didn't we just have one? 
But I can still relate to that even if we just had one. <laughs> And that reminds me, home shopping. Yeah. Oh god, I don't. Shouldn't. Oh, Menos, no. We're doing none of this. It's Sunday, it's our day off. Oh. You have a text message. Uh. It's the shopping channel. Oh my god, a oh, shopping program. Oh. All these are so bad. Like, you don't need these. This is like literally- oh Jesus Christ, how much text is there? Like... You don't- don't get these. They're expensive as dump and they're not worth it. That's all I'm saying. Go to Shibuya, it's Sunday, you know what that means. Oh my god, I clicked the wrong button. Jesus. Yeah, it's Sunday. You know what that means. It's our Sunday ritual. Just gotta get down there. Go grab it. Uh. Hi there, Yusuke. You, you hang around here? It's you. If we steal Madarame's treasure, his heart will change, yes? Are we sending the calling guard today? Oh, about no. that. The exhibit will end if you waste any more time. Bro, we got two weeks, like, chill. And I gotta drink some juice. Today is Sunday, and you yeah. Onsen Eojiru. Made using bath water? I mean, if it's gamer girl bath water, down the hatch, right, Morgana? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Give us attractiveness or charm, I mean. No, it gives us kindness. Cool. Who texted us? I can't. Oh. We could just respond with this. Have there been any changes to your health? I want to check you out just in case. I don't have any patients. Could you stop by the clinic? Oh. Do I have a death? I want to make sh- I want to make sure of that before going. Yeah, we have McCoy. A wet McCoy. A wet McCoy. That- uh, A wet McCoy. God, if that's a thumbnail, if I've seen it. <laughs> um, yeah, we can go. Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, all we had to do today is our Sunday ritual. No big deal. Hi, Takami. I'm back. <sighs> the warmer it gets, the stranger people act. Like that perverted high school teacher. Oh, you heard about that. Cool. Has anyone ever studied the correlation between the rise in temperatures and a rise in weirdos? Oh, uh, maybe because it's summer, more people go out, and you see more of them. Uh, it's kind of, I don't, I don't really know, to be honest with you. But yeah, you came because you saw my messages, right? Oh, uh, let's do a clinical trial. I made some more refinements to the medicine. Could I have you come in? And thanks to a oh, what McCoy, we can deepen our bond with Takemi. Well, then. In that case, go into the exam room. Huh? So this is the Takemi Medical Clinic of Internal Medicine. I'm glad it's still open. Sorry, I have a child I need to have examined. Well, looks like I have a patient with an emergency. So why come here? Aren't you under the care of another hospital? I've heard rumors about this place. I'd like for you to examine her. 
She was diagnosed with bronchitis, but the medicine she was given hasn't been working at all. She has a fever that won't go away, and she's losing weight because she's not hungry. A young girl losing weight is definitely not good. You should go to a bigger hospital. I can't provide a thorough examination here. We've been going to a big hospital, the University Hospital in East Shinjuku. But all they tell us is that it's persistent bronchitis. A university hospital in East Shinjuku? The doctor there performs exams like he's on an assembly line. I think he's famous or something. A famous doctor, huh? I'm just a general practitioner. Out here in the sticks. As you can see, I don't even have any staff. But wait, I've heard there's a medicine that can only be acquired here. Please, I'll pay you. Please, at least just examine her. Hey. Uh. Uh. Hold on. <laughs> Doctor, my chest really hurts. Uh. Doctor Takemi will help. Yeah, you'll help, Takemi, it's fine. Doctor. <sighs> fine. Hmm. Is your vision blurry? How about your throat? Does it hurt? Hmm. No signs of swelling. Are you sure you've told me everything about her symptoms and treatments? That you've tried so far? Yes, I'm sure. Hmm. Hello? Urahara-san. Is Dr. Schweitzer there? Yeah, that's actually how you say it. If you're saying Schweitzer, this is a German word. Just saying. Or last name, I guess. There's something I'd like to ask him about a case that was in last month's medical journal. I see. Guess the ones in stock will have to do. There's a shelf by the reception desk. Bring the contents of the second drawer into the exam room. Sounds good. You'll need to help me administer the medicine. Also bring the beaker with the red label in the fridge. A towel. Wash basin and measuring. Hey, I, I, I have a goldfish brain. I don't know if you know this, but I don't think I can remember all that. Hopefully, this ain't a mini game. Well, what are you waiting for? Get moving. Oh God, I'm, I'm, I'm screwed. Thank you so much. I didn't expect her to recover so quickly. Mm. It was a very unique strain of an infectious disease can't be detected by conventional exams. I temporarily temporarily suppress the symptoms. We'll make adjustments as her condition improves. Okay. That'll be 1 million yen for Takami. Do not rob what the Takami. Please don't do this. A, a million yen? Th that's outrageous! You're completely taking advantage of- I mean... Alright. I agreed to pay. You don't take credit cards, do you? I'll go withdraw some cash right now. What? Huh? Wait, you're actually gonna pay- Thank God she was just joking. Maybe? Maybe she's shocked that they'll actually pay her? I don't know, maybe she's been robbed before or something? By the way, that famous doctor you mentioned earlier, was it Medical Chief of Staff Oyamada? Oyamada, I can say it. Yes, are you familiar with him? I knew it. In that case, I'll make this free of charge. 
Aw, oh, to kill me. Aw. But free? <laughs> you kind of seem happy. Like, what gives? You're never like this around me, which is, I mean, I guess it's a signal or something. Doesn't it feel good? Treating his patient without permission? Do you have a grudge with him or something? By the way. Thanks to your outburst earlier. I'm going to perform this very special exam on you today. Oh my god, this is bad. So is he your assistant? Seems awfully young. And didn't you say you didn't have any staff here? This is kind of weird, uh... Yes. My assistant. Guinea pig. Well, this is getting awkward really fast. Here's about... He's about to put in a lot of hard work today. Aren't you? Uh, yeah, it's growing deeper and it's really weird. God, it's so weird seeing Death Rank 4 when Ryuji's at like 7 or 8, I can't remember. Right. Oh god. Um, Doctor, can I go back to school now? Not for a while. You need to start eating and regain your strength first. Can you do that for me? Yes, thank you, Doctor. Don't mention it. Your turn. I wonder what kind of response you'll have <laughs> this time. Maybe you won't even be able to make it home? Uh, our guts is pretty high, I mean, like... It's only gonna get higher from this. I think we'll make it home. Hopefully. Bye. Maybe. Oh, hey, Takami. How are you feeling now? Today's drug was kind of a rough one. Hmm. But maybe it was just what my careless little guinea pig deserved, huh? Especially after pro approving that girl's consultation without my permission. I ain't keek shaming or anything, but like... That ain't me. At least I don't think it is. Who knows, maybe it is. But I don't think it is. I'm sure all of you horny on main people uh, chose that, but um... I'll reflect on my mistakes. Good boy. But I'm only letting this go today. Don't pull anything like that again. The drug does seem to be more stable compared to the earlier stages, though. It's probably thanks to your cooperation. Feels like I'm almost there. So... Try not to die just yet, okay? All right, take care. And don't die. <laughs> okay, it's Ah, uh, Hi, Sojiro. Hey. Don't forget to ask that yourself guy. Uh, uh, we we can't. Make sure you don't get dragged into some weird mess. All right. Oh, that sounds good, Sojiro. And as it is Sunday, actually. That's on our eye, yeah. Oh! I'll be giving a speech at the usual spot today. Are you free today? Do you think you could help me out? Uh, that's what I was on my way to do. You agreed to a deal with Yoshida. Be sure to accept his invitation until you gain his trust, okay? Oh! Uh, yeah! I mean, I was gonna say it, this is kind of part of our Sunday ritual since he did say he was gonna be here on Sundays. So let's go. Thanks. I would be like you... F I would like you f to hold up a placard again. 
I'll be waiting in front of Shibuya Station. Sounds good, Yoshia. Glad to be here. What's up? Passing on the societal ills we have created to the next generation is not right. It will take time to solve this problem. However, we must start by making small changes. You. I don't know why, but like... And they're, they're not even similar characters besides the fact that they're kind of older. I kind of relate Yoshida to Iroh from Avatar. Like, I don't know. He seems to have, like, so much wisdom in him. I don't know. Anyway. I hope you learned something useful from today's speech. Regardless of the audience's size, you must convey your thoughts as if you're talking one-on-one. -on -one. True. By the way, I forgot to ask you last time we spoke. Why do you want to be a poet? I never said that, but... I mean, I want to do that, but in our position, I want to change the world. Hmm? Ambitious indeed, if a little ambiguous. Well, I'm sure you'll iron out the details as you go along. May I ask you one more question? I mean, sure, I don't have anything else to do tonight. What kind of politician do you want to be? I never said I want to be a politician. This is like the vain answer, like I don't really care about popularity like myself, like it feels nice to get like likes on Twitter and stuff, trust me, I know. But uh... Yeah, I'd rather have somebody that actually means well and has conviction. In multiple aspects of life. Yes, don't ever forget that. Although what's important is what lies within. You're right. Allow me to give you some advice. If you aspire to get into politics, I don't, you must possess a central philosophy. What is it that you want to accomplish? That is the foundation of a great speech. So our synops- or not synopsis, our- I'm not an English major, shut up. You do well to remember that. Um, that was helpful. Thank you. I'm glad. By the way, my philosophy is... Very well. Never give up until your voice is heard. To get your message across, be tenacious in conveying your thoughts to the audience. Have a firm point of view, and communicate it clearly. That's the first rule of negotiating. <laughs> You have me reliving the fighting spirit I had when I first became a politician. Yoshida explained the basics of speech giving. I feel like my bond with him is growing deeper. Oh boy. And with this rank up we get diplomacy. Occasionally ask for some money or items during negotiation. Kind of helpful and of course you kind of get this because you know, his whole thing is negotiating, and he's a politician, good. GG online. Speech please words. <laughs> God dang it. All right. Thanks, Yoshida. Thanks, Gramps. Get the hell out of here, no good Torah. No good Torah? They're right. I am no good. My apologies. We're done for today. Uh, Yoshida, come on. That's kind of like the main thing with him. Like he's really good at giving you advice, but like. I shall ask you again another time. Thank you for all your hard work. I'll see you next time. He's not the best at taking it himself. It's kind of sad. Hey, I want to thank you for today. I'm sorry you had to see me acting like such a coward. Right after I gave you the self-important lecture to- Yeah, that's what I was just saying, like- Oh, you're talking about the other guy? Cool. But I'm quite a stubborn individual myself. 
As am I. I hope today's incident was at least a good example of what not to do. But... What do you think? Did you take anything useful from it? Uh... I mean, it did not change my whole world outlook. Uh, it was helpful, though. Like, let's be honest. That's a relief, I have to say. It was almost nostalgic for me. It reminded me of my early years. Yoshi, how old are you, by the way? I hope our talks from now on will keep giving you the direction you need. Well, I hope to see you again. Goodbye. You ride this train at this time too. <laughs> what a coincidence. Yusuke, you've been stalking us for god knows how long until you became part of our party. You know we ride this train. We finished investigating the palace. Yeah. All that's left is the calling card. When are you going to send it? Uh, not today, that's for sure. So the more important it is, the more cautious we should be. You have a point. Yeah, also, I just don't want to send it today, but yeah, sure. Let's go with that. dependable as I thought. I'll leave the timing of the calling card in your care. Maybe Yusuke doesn't know that we're just trying to do... Oh, have you heard? ...literally everything we can beforehand, but... I, I, I don't know. Madarame, the maestro of the art world. Artists with that good of an eye are rare in Japan. I wonder if he has synthesia. Oh my god. Holiday plans? Um... My family normally, like, I haven't been to it in three years since I finally moved back home. Um, but they normally have a Christmas party. I don't know if they're doing it this year, but normally for, like, actual Christmas, we, uh, kind of just have my sister and her husband over and then we open gifts. It's not going to be as big this year that as we normally do, like, with gift exchange, but that's kind of it. Pretty boring, I know, but what about you? Do you have anything? Yes, regarding synesthesia, one of many English terms that come from Greek root words. Haven't heard of it? It's a condition where your senses can cross over each other. Like seeing music as color. My boss had synesthesia, actually. There are all kinds of varieties, though. Some sense of combinations are more common than others. We call people who experience this phenomenon synesthesia. Or synesthetes, whatever. What did she say? Synest yeah, synesthetes, right? I don't know. Mr. Joker, <laughs> were you staring off into space, weren't you? Well, your number's up. The root word of synesthesia are sin and esthesis. What do they mean? Um... Uh... It's all Greek to me, but I can give it a try. Here, let's think about this together. It'll be easier if we put our heads together. Okay, so let's start with sin. I think that's in a lot of other words too, like synergy and synchronity and syn synthesis. If we think about what these words have in common, then maybe sin means uh, together? That's it. Sin means together or a combination of something. Sin is in the Bible, also. <laughs> I mean, you ain't wrong. Hey. All dogs go to heaven, but do all cats. Hmm. And a synthesis, huh? That's a little like the word aesthetics. I wonder if it means... Uh, senses, maybe? Yeah, that's it. Sounds like we know the definitions of the root word. Wow, we're so smart. So that means the full word basically means... 
And this is coming together. Yeah. That's it. Whoa. Oh my god. Morgana, we're so great, aren't we? Good. Oh, she seems impressed. I think this is might be my least favorite teacher. I don't know why, but she kind of looks like she has it out for us. You've been studying. Unfortunately, sy synesthesia is something you have to be born with. You can't learn it. Some of the geniuses over the course of history have had synesthesia. The composer Franz Liszt, which I think that's German, which is it's Liszt, I think. Might not be German, I've never seen an S in the E, it might be like Shek, like, I don't know. Instructed his orchestra to play the color purple. The poet Arthur Rimbaud was also said to see colors in letters. He's pretty smart, oh my god. Nice going. I'm on a roll. Cool, we answered a question correctly. Great. Seeing colors and sounds and letters and feeling shapes and flavors and numbers. Geniuses and common people see the world differently. Were you able to understand that? This is Asia. That's fascinating. And yes, I do have a galaxy brain. Thank you. Oh, well, the reason Madarame sees the world differently is because of his distorted desires. Yeah. You gonna dip? Oh, well, thanks for thanks for stopping by. Brit, always good to have you. Take care out there. I should be streaming like once every other day now. Just because I don't have school. So yeah, be sure to stop by. Uh, where are we going again? I think it's Central Street, right? Cool. Should be a Central Street. Uh, and yeah, here's the bookstore. We just so happen to be stopping by here. Kawakami is cute. Agreed. Love you, dog. I'll try to stop by more. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, so yeah. We're at the bookstore. We're gonna be buying a couple of books. We're gonna buy Vague, which is definitely not Vogue. Um, and we're also gonna be buying Buchiko, definitely not Hachiko's story. Which, uh, Futurama definitely didn't use as cannon fodder to make a grown man cry. And yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> and, oh, it's just you. The person that everybody thinks is hot, even though I'm the hottest character. No, I'm kidding. Um, let's go to the, uh... Hello? Wait. Oh, I guess if we go into Shibuya Station, we should get access to the hideaway. Cool. Okay. Oh wait. We can now take him down. Yes. Madarame is going to be a changed man. Before we do this, I'm gonna I gotta go do something else, even though this <laughs> it's gonna be very anticlimactic. There won't be any way to revert it, though. You sure you're okay with that? Oh, yeah. I have thought it over carefully. And he has prayed not I definitely skipped his world. voice line. My bad. Um, and I cannot think of a future in which she does not pay his dues. But on countless talents. So, I humbly request your help. Uh, saying that seems kind of mean. Like, am I right? Like, it seems like saying that, like, hey, don't get too worked up. Like, oh, yeah, no, it's just the dude who raised him his whole life and is now just a piece of crap. Like, all right. I apologize for making you do this. You have nothing to apologize for. Not at all. We just didn't want to impose if you weren't feeling up to it, Yusuke. Aww. But if you're already determined to do it, then there's nothing more for us to say. If I recall, our next step is sending a calling card, correct? <laughs> what a suave maneuver. Hmm. Indubitably. It's not about acting cool. 
The calling card is a way to trigger a change in his cognition. I guess we're not cool according to Morgana, but I think we are. Change in cognition. Uh, that reminds me, you went through some trouble regarding that before. Ah, you must be talking about when we forced open that security gate in the courtyard. The palace is a cognitive world, so changing its ruler's cognition changes the topography. Or something like that, I don't really know. <laughs> I think. Very nicely put, Lady On. You're absolutely correct. This will be a vital tactic from here forward. Actually, may I ask a truly basic question? You continue to mention cognition quite readily. Oh, that's kind of why we can hear Morgana speak, yeah. But why does this world formed from materialized cognitions even exist to begin with? I don't know. Don't tell me. Has it always existed while we go about our daily lives, completely oblivious? Maybe. Honestly, I'm not sure. At the very least, I know it existed before the Kamoshida incident, but that's all. So it did exist before, we just don't know how long ago it has. Huh. I see. Crap, he totally caught me off guard with that. Same, Ryuji, that's a... Yusuke is asking some... Like, everybody like everybody in the party's asked some really good questions before. But that's like... That's a big one. Hmm. It's kind of weird thinking there might be whole worlds we just don't know a damn thing about. Had the thought ever crossed your mind? Um, yeah, of course it did. The, uh... Clearly, the Bernstein Worlds universe and the Bernstein World universe, uh, collapsed on itself, and now we're in this timeline. I mean, yeah, of course it did. Don't be so anxious. You don't even know everything about the city you live in, after all. Nay. All that's important is that we know how to make use of that world and how to traverse it. So I should send the calling card right now. I'll probably cut this and the YouTube thing, but I'm gonna go grab some... Hey. Grab some, uh... Some stuff, like SP, just saying? Um, just cause it's good to go get, so uh, yeah. We definitely didn't leave this point. <laughs> Some calling card. Then it's decided. Let's prepare the calling card at once. A calling card, huh? Will he take it seriously? He is famous after all. He has often received slanderous letters till now as well. He'll know best whether the crime written on it is for real or not. For real? Wait, are you going to write it again, Ryuji? That last one was questionable at best. It was pretty good. Like, it was just, like, outlandish enough to be like, oh, this could be a prank, but could be real. You should do it then, Yusuke. Oh, make it really artistic and stuff. Could be for real. Oh. No. It'll end with him figuring it out. He knows my drawing and writing styles all too well. Good point. Oh, then I'll think it up and you make it cooler. That could work. Designing a calling card. Hmm. Interesting. It shall become proof that the Phantom Thieves do exist. Maybe the next time he asks you to submit a piece or for the one that's coming up, you just uh, use the calling card. Uh, no, don't do that, but it'd be kind of funny. It's decided that. God, I've noticed that y'all can hear me whenever I crack my knuckles, but that one sounded good. It was a good one. Oh. I'm jealous? My mom is. <laughs> All that's left is to make the treasure ours. You guys better come fully prepared. I saw. So 
sorry to say that to Morgana just because he's a cat and that's what Happy says from uh, another anime. Yo, I tried ch changing the chat icon. It looks the same to me. Maybe it just it's just for the group and doesn't show up in here. Well, you should take a look later. It's the Phantom Thieves logo I had Yusuke draw for us. The going card turned out great because of him too. Anyways, this is the first job for the Phantom Thieves. You really can't screw this up. Okay. I'm not understanding anything. Oh, I am not underestimating anything, I assure you. And make sure Yusuke gets a lot of rest today, okay? Why isn't he in the group chat? Yeah. Well, see you tomorrow. Got it. See you tomorrow. You know, On and Ryuji really carry that group chat. We don't really say much, do we? Um, I'm gonna save here, though. Just because, uh, yeah. Technically, tomorrow we send the calling card. So good luck with that. I guess for us. What are we gonna do today? You ask? Listen to the news. It's the time of year when young people wearing suits come out in droves. The job hunt has begun. With the recent economic slump, many companies are limiting their number of new hires. Popular companies are overwhelmed with applications accepting applicants at very low rates. In their suits, everyone all looks the same. Must be tough to look for a job. It's also a good excuse to make everybody look the same, huh? I mean, what? We're just, uh... Why can we use the payphone? We're gonna read. So, did you want to spend some time reading? Yeah, sure. We're gonna read the, um... Gallant Rogue, which is about Yusuke's persona. Ishikawa Goemon's tale. Experience the guts to defy those in power. One of the few personas I knew before being acquainted with Atlas's games. All right, I'm heading home and definitely not getting cigarettes on the way. The rich quaked in fear as the poor rejoiced. Wow. Nishikawa Goemon was a thief without peer. So he was a hero of the common people, huh? Yeah, he's kind of like a Robin Hood, Robin Hood esque figure for everybody who's not familiar with Goemon, which I feel like at least from Japanese like lore and like history, a lot of people do know who Goemon is. In comparison to a lot of other figures. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't finish it today, Morgana, but surprisingly, one of the few times we actually get to, uh, that's cool, hey. we actually get to, uh, complete the same, th same book in literally back to back, so. Mm -hmm. Striking a pose of defiance with tobacco pipe in hand, he truly looked like a great thief. Wow. Ishikawa Goemon was a thief without peer. So he was a hero of the common people, huh? You said that last time, Morkana. Don't you have anything to add after that good story? Like, come on. Oh. So you finish reading the gallant robe. What splendid spirit that pays no mind to the bad guys. He's a true example of a gentleman thief. After reading this, I'm sure you have a better understanding of a chivalrous thief's courage. We have a good understanding because we got three whole musical notes for our guts. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was the efficient use of your time. Yep, yep. Yes, sir. First, I have an announcement about an upcoming school event. A 
As part of City Beautification Project, the entire school will be participating in a public cleanup, cleanup campaign. That means we're going to Inokashira Park. Oh, we heard about this earlier. To pick up trash. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. Why does this feel like something you'd make prisoners do? The cleanup will take place next week on the 30th. All students are to wear their gym uniforms during the event. So don't forget to dress the part. Don't mind us, we're just checking our phones in the corner over here. You guys hear about this cleanup bullshit at Inu Inokashira Park? I guess it's the principal's idea. Damage control after Kamoshina scandaled up the old school's rep. And he's controlling it by making us, like, forcing us to clean up a park. That kind of sounds like penal labor. Hmm. Pretty sure scandal is not a verb. Yeah, I don't think it is either. But I get what you mean. Even the counseling stuff seems like des a desperate move. They're scrambling, that's for sure. All the girls in our class have been freaking out over this new guy, too. Oh, did you get a transfer student, Ryuji? Hmm? I've been hearing Maruki's hot, kind, sensitive. Basically, everyone thinks he's their type. Oh, it's just Maruki. Well, at least we don't have another transfer student to worry about. Well, I guess he's pretty popular, then. Oh yeah, did you guys go to his counseling yet? Well, it's good to know that On doesn't... Well, maybe she does, I don't know. She had a good talk with him. Oh shit, I forgot. But I don't know. I don't really feel like going. You know what I mean, right, Akira? Joker? Eh. Um... He's a good counselor, I, I mean, I went. Whoa, really? You should just go already. Well, you can't today, but soon. If your slacking draws attention to us, we're the ones who will have to pay for it. Fine. Pardon me, sir. There's a matter we need to notify you about. Please excuse me for a moment. What is it? We found this outside. A letter? It's a... Sir Ichiryu Sai Matarame, a great sinner of vanity whose talent has been exhausted. You are an artist who uses his authority to shamelessly steal the ideas of his pupils. We have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. We will take your distorted desires without fail. From the Phantom Thieves. Whose doing is this? We don't know. The same letter has been posted everywhere. What about the security cameras? There were no signs of the culprit. All we saw was a cat in the recordings. Remove these at once! Of course. Hmm. Um... <sighs> what now? It's about this affecting the exhibit. We believe it's just a prank, but what of the mass media? Are you insinuating that this slander is true? Of course not! Damn brats doing, isn't it? Well, it means nothing. They'll only be able to do as they please until this exhibit is over. Will that do? Yup, it was perfect. The composition was way cooler, too. The treasure should appear right about now. You better enjoy the air of freedom while you still can, old man. Anyways, did you guys check online? People are already talking about that calling card. We'll show them. We're gonna surprise them all. 
I'm sure you know, but we only get one shot to pull this off. We'll be counting on you, too. You have no reservations about this either, right, Yusuke? Of course not. We'll do this.